or the polar filter part. And then I flatten the bubbles on the paper to under tape in my case. But I will still try to to look how the surface reacts to my first attempt and what I do now is I scratch the top layer with my knife here just hey, after 15 minutes I could grab the top surface layer very nice and now you have to make sure that it is complete transparent and not brown because if it is brown it's some kind of polar filter that's something I have not I, I haven't expected this right now I swear I thought it would crumble instantly after 15 minutes but still in my opinion I should wait some minutes yeah that's what I meant it breaks you know when you try to loosen it too early it will start from a different corner that is too much that is polar filter end surface so we can skip this corner also That's what I meant with crumbling. This corner is crumbling complete. Also here. So as you can see, it is a risky process, it can crumble, it's not always working perfect and half of the coating is still on the screen, but I will try my best to get rid of it with patience.
So after reassembling this monitor, you can see it works. Uh, I haven't cleaned the surface of the screen right now, but there's a huge night and day difference. And it's really, really satisfying, wonderful, vivid. Colors are really splendid now. So I can enjoy this monitor right now, even if it is kind of uh, reflecting in, the, in some scenes. Colors are really abnormal. But as you have seen, uh, I had great difficulties in uh, uncoating it. So as I ex expected or anticipated, the, the layer here is much thinner, feels much more plastic than before with the older classic types of coatings. And uh, I needed a half an hour just to uncoat it and it was really risky so it could have been uh, gotten much worse and uh, I could have uh, wrecked this co monitor completely but I think it's I could have cover, recovered that situation because I have got experience in uncoating many types of monitors but I wouldn't recommend it uh, for uh, normal user because there's a high risk to break this monitor the LCD panel you know how fragile those LCD panels are and for a random user I wouldn't recommend it for an experienced one who says uh, yeah 70 or 80 euros for a used monitor isn't that much I, I will risk it use at least uh, 30 minutes or one hour to wetten the surface completely not in my case like 20 or 30 minutes and if you encounter those difficulties I had be patient stay patient stay calm and try to work with your fingernails or plastic tools and don't give up fast